What's up people? This is DET Aquarium and this is part two of two on the product review of this 10 gallon Dew Aqua Aquarium. Now I'm going to pick up where we left off from last time and last time we talked about the additives and substrate and just some of the products I used in the initial phases of setting up the aquarium. Now in this video I'm going to go into more detail about how I tied on the moss, what I used to plant it on the substrate, and just more details about this lighting and the aquarium itself. You guys stay tuned. The first product that we're going to review today are the Riccioline and Riccia Stones by ADA. Now these are the products that I use to attach not only the different types of moss but the fissidens on the hornwood as well as on top of the substrate. Now the Riccioline that we used is a special or durable thread that doesn't deteriorate in water. Now it's a light green color so it really blends in or matches really well with the different variations of green in the mosses or Riccia or even the fissidens that I used. Now it's really easy to attach any kind of moss, fissidens, riccia to this stone here. One reason is it's extremely flat, easy to work with, and you just attach your plant right here. Take your riccia line and tie it on like so. As you can see, the riccia line is going to blend in really nice with any plant that you want to use. The next product I want to review is the Arkea Slim Pro LED light. Now this is the box, but it has quite a few of the features and specifications I want to review with you prior to showing you the light on top of the aquarium. Now a couple of the features here below is the couple of the things that drew me to this light versus all the others out there. It's slim and compact design, has a high amount of lumens per LED lamp or bulb, and it's energy efficient. That's why most of us are drawing more and more to the LEDs versus the T5 high outputs or metal halides is because the power consumption. But one thing we're really worried about is can the LED lamps or these fixtures keep up with the power lumens that the T5 high outputs and the metal halides are producing. Now here are the specifications right here on the box for you. There's 135 pieces on this actual fixture itself. It has a Kelvin rating of 7 8,000 Kelvin or K. And you can see the lumen per LED right there. Another big feature, as you can see, the power per fixture itself is only 7.56 watts, which is outstanding. Now let's go take a look at the actual light itself on top of the aquarium. See what you think. Here's the Arkea Slim Pro on top of my 10 gallon Dew Aqua Aquarium. Now I have two of these 17 inch fixtures on top. You can tell it's extremely thin or skinny. Just give you kind of a little perspective right here, how thin they are. You can see the legs of the fixture are clear, so they blend in really nicely. And you can take a look at all the LED lamps through this reflection on the top. I'm extremely happy with the product. It's done me really, really well. You can tell my moss carpet is growing nice and low to the substrate itself so you know it's producing very high lumens very good par rating you guys need to take a look at this product if you're in the market for an LED this is my 10 gallon Dew Aqua Aquarium the dimensions are 45 by 27 by 30 centimeters and that's about 18 by 10 and a half by 12 inches now that gives you quite a bit of depth to work with and that's one big thing that really drew me to this product is it allows you to aquascape in such a small scale, which I really love. It also is handmade. It's made from a high quality glass. You can tell by the clarity itself is exceptional. And it comes with a two year quality warranty. Now on top of that, some of the best things about this product is the cost. The cost for the quality is above all else. You guys need to go take a look at this line. If you're looking in the market for a new aquarium, give Do Aqua a try if you haven't already. Now that ends this series on the 10 gallon Dew Aqua Aquarium. If you're interested in some of the products or maybe you want to do a little bit more research on them, go to www.adana-usa.com. I appreciate you guys watching. There's going to be plenty more videos on this aquarium to give you a little more update on what this tank has been doing. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for your support. and You guys have a good weekend.